today it's all about how to find a good cereal and do you really know what it means on the label? Well, we're going to talk about it today in our grocery discovery on how to discover good cereals, what you're looking for, and of course, how do I increase the fiber and the protein so I can help my kids, help my family get off to a great start. All right, so here we go. I've got a lot to teach you. It's going to be fun. So I've got some cereals lined up here in the cereal aisle. I remember when I used to work with the missionaries that would come home from overseas and their children would just be amazed at the long aisles of cereals. Whereas in foreign countries you have maybe three options. Well, that's for sure. This is more of a dessert aisle, if you ask me, than a cereal that I want to help my family start off strong food. So let's just, I've got a few of them lined up here. I just want to point out what you're actually seeing on the labels and why it matters. So I know, let's look at this first one, Kix. No, I'm not recommending it, but I want you to understand. So a lot of what's on the label is to, well, obviously this is for the kids, that's obvious, but there's a lot of things on here for to attract the parents. Family size, oh good, I'm gonna save money. We're gonna build strong bones. That's to help the parents feel good about making this horrible decision for their kids. Nickelodeon, that's to grab the kids' attention. I mean, this a lot of this is just obvious to you. So what you need to understand, it's a good source of calcium and vitamin D to help build strong bones. It's actually a poor source because the sugar is going to interrupt with their bone growth and there are a ton of sugars in this product. What I also want you to recognize is we're using some, or if you can see right there, some vitamin E. That's not for your health benefit. That's actually just to preserve freshness, which is what it's, it's, it's even telling you that right here. So in this cereal, we've got two grams of protein. We've got eight grams of sugar. So it's fairly low in sugar and two grams of fiber. The reason it's low in sugar is because how they have manipulated the serving size and these are light puffy you know balls and so the children are not going to just eat a cup and a half because they're going to want more sugar they're going to actually eat more so the sugar count is going to go up so basically what we want you to recognize is this is here is only to help the parents feel good about this decision it's truly not going to help them build strong bones so moving on here we've got gluten-free that sounds good especially for everyone trying to go gluten-free but there's something you need to recognize this is not a gluten-free that's appropriate for celiac. So over on the side, now I gotta find where I had that pulled out. Okay, partially produced with genetic engineering. So that's an obvious no, you do not wanna buy that. Somewhere on this label, which I'm not actually finding it right now, it actually says it is produced in a facility that may have gluten. So if you're celiac, do not ever buy this. It needs, if you're celiac, it has to say certified gluten-free. So this is just an attention getter. It's a seller made with real cocoa. That's actually the best ingredient in this cereal. All right, so moving on, we have Cheerios. So right here can help lower cholesterol. The proof is not that Cheerios lowers cholesterol. It's just that fiber lowers cholesterol. Okay, so we have Simply Made Gluten-Free. Once again, um, it, they're saying they do not use any genetically modified foods. They're using tocopherols as their freshness ingredient, which is important, we're gonna to get to that. Three grams of protein and one gram, three grams of fiber. So Cheerios is the most popular cereal, actually the highest selling cereal of all time. What you need to also understand is over $2 billion a year is spent on advertising. And so that makes a big difference as to what your children want, what you're going to buy, all of this labeling is all gonna come into play with that. Okay, so I'm going to share with you how to increase the protein count, how to increase the fiber, even if you do buy a cereal like this. So we're going to talk about that in just a minute, but let's go ahead and continue on. We've got some Special K here. So Special K uh, made by Kellogg's. And so Kellogg's is still using BHT for 
freshness. Now, the government agrees that BHT is not harmful in small doses, but they ha it has been proven in many studies that large doses of BHT can lead to different types of cancers. So, but they're only concerned about small doses, and we as family realize, wow, a small dose here, a small dose there is going to add up to a lot. So right here, we're talking about made with fiber, B vitamins, and iron powering your strength. So yes, fiber, B vitamins, and iron do power your strength. Whether or not this food will do that has not been proven. Okay, so here we have Kellogg's All Brand. And so this is, you, you look at it and you think, oh, fiber, and that's gonna like this. Okay, so let's look at the label. Once again, we go to the BHT. So I do not want that in any of my food, so I would not buy a product with that in it. That was one of the first ingredients I removed when we first switched over to eating healthy. So here we do have three grams of protein, eight grams of sugar, so somewhat low in sugar, but look at the serving size. It's only one third a cup. Now part of that is because it's a very heavy, dense cereal. It's going to help you be full faster and so three grams of protein, eight grams of sugar, and then 11 grams of fiber. So yes, this is a high fiber food, but because of the BHT, I would not buy it. Okay, so here we have an off-brand organic honey nut toasted oats. And let's see what we got here. So this one is using vitamin E at, to maintain freshness. Those are usually synthetic. Most of your vitamins are a synthetic version, and so that's not really what we're looking for. It's really your vitamin section, when you're looking at all of these, is a selling point. It's only to get you to buy their cereal. All right, so here we have four grams of protein, 11 grams of sugar, three grams of fiber. So this is a one, one and a third cup serving. So it is organic, so if you wanna feel good about that, then you would use this. But I wanna teach you how to eat a healthier breakfast, how to eat a more sustainable breakfast. So let me just go down to two more here. We've got the pumpkin seed flax, granola. So granola is gonna cost more, but nutrition-wise, you're going to always have more calories because of the ingredients. So we've got some whole grains, we've got some pumpkin seeds, flax seeds. Those two ingredients alone are going to totally up the nutrition count. So right away we've got six grams of protein and we got 10 grams of sugar and five grams of fiber. So this is an excellent source of fiber, but recognize the fiber is coming from these seeds right here in this picture. So this is where the fiber is coming from. So all we have to do is add these seeds to other cereals and not pay the extra price for this pumpkin seed flex. Although it tastes really good and it's great to have as a topping on desserts and things like that but I would not want to start my day with it. Okay, if you were to buy a cereal that, you know, is just a simple one, then let's look at Rice Krispies. So Rice Krispies boast of only, basically, it has rice, it has sugar, and salt, and a malt flavor. So very few ingredients. And then we look at the preservative that they're using, and they actually do not list a preservative. So. Kellogg's usually uses BHT in all of their foods, but I'm not seeing it listed here. And actually, they're not even listing any vitamin E that would help preserve it as well. So as far as ingredient-wise, this would be a better choice. As far as protein, we are only getting three grams. As far as fiber, we got zero. So this is zero fiber. My husband's doctor was writing prescriptions faster than our hearts were beating with stress. Yet, could there be another way? Is there another answer? Well, that is when a friend suggested to me, Annette, go back into God's Word, start reading it differently, and start with the Daniel fast. Well, those words changed the trajectory of our lives. And 30 days later, we were prescription free, 35 pounds lighter, combined total, lower cholesterol, lower triglycerides, and we knew that God had answered our prayer for greater health His way. Now, if you are praying for an answer on how to get started, I highly recommend the Daniel Fast. First, go to the biblicalnutritionacademy.com website, click on the Daniel Fast, and sign up. It's that easy. Plus, the link will be in the show notes below. Some better options to buy. I found them on the lower shelf which is usually where the better stuff is this is a super heavy box 
so um, let's look at this. So 40 grams of whole grains it's bragging about. Excellent source of fiber. So let's look and see if it's telling the truth. So we have in two thirds of a cup, now it's a very heavy dense cereal, so two thirds of a cup might be okay for most people. Although I believe most people will pour a cup and a half before they even realize what they have in their bowl. And then we have fiber, seven grams. So good fiber, a little bit high on sugar, but that fiber is gonna offset that sugar, seven grams of protein. So this would be a good option if you're going to eat cereal. So looking down below, we want to know, so they added the tocopherols, which is vitamin E, a synthetic vitamin E, added to preserve freshness, so they're not using the BHT, which is really good. So this is an option. And here we have crackling oat bran made by Kellogg's, a little bit higher in calories for three-fourths of a cup, eight servings per container. I would bet that this would probably only have four to five servings because of what people normally pour. So we've got four grams of protein. We have seven grams of fiber. So we do have some high fiber, 16 grams of sugar. So it is somewhat high in sugar. Down below, we look, we're look. we looking for what is the preservative. All right, so I'm not seeing the BHT in this. Actually, I'm not even seeing the vitamin E listed. So it's using something else as an ingredient for it. Now, recognize I'm not even talking about genetically modified or ingredients like that too much on this video. So right here we have soy ingredients. So if I ever have soy as an ingredient, I need it to be non-GMO. This is not a non-GMO, so we would not buy this. Let me set that down. Another one I found is crunchy nuggets. So this, once again, was down on the bottom shelf right down there. It's bragging about no artificial on the front. Let's see what's on the side. So we've got whole grain wheat flour. So whole grain, this first two words, if it's a flour and there's no preservatives, you do not have a whole grain flour. It's just false leading here. So we've got a barley flour and then we got some vitamins that have been added. So up ahead, we've got six grams of protein. We've got seven grams of fiber, very low sugar, which is pretty obvious when you look at it. It's like, okay, yeah, I've got a feeling that's just gonna taste like fiber. What I would use this for, uh, so it's not saying non-GMO or anything. I would use this as a, in a topper. I would use it as a crunchy nugget in other recipes, especially if this had come in organic. I would really be excited about that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now what I want to share with you is the most important part of this video is how if you are going to buy some of these video, some of these, uh, I was going to say some of these videos, if you were going to buy some of these cereals, how do we increase the protein and the fiber count? So I've already shared with you this cereal, which actually, um, quite happy about that one, but I also want to look at this. We could add a coconut protein blend to the cereal milk. Another way, another item that I didn't bring to show you would be yogurt. Adding a couple tablespoons of yogurt into the milk would increase the protein. So here we're going to add protein and fiber. So if we added this into our cereal mix, into our milk, so it says two scoops is gonna give you 130 calories. I'm not concerned about calories. I'm looking for uh, fiber. So we've got eight grams of fiber there and then we have 20 grams of protein. So if I, we were to just add one tablespoon of this to the cereal bowl for your children, you're going to help their brain, their brain to be smarter to start the day. You're gonna help them to not have sugar you know, highs and you're not gonna have sugar cravings. They're not going to start falling asleep at 10 o'clock or go hyperactive because those sugars in a lot of these cereals are just super fast processed and it's going to cause their brain to misfunction and it's gonna cause their microbiome to not work for them, which means they're gonna be sick, they're gonna have you know, more immunity problems. So this is actually a really good option. Just to add a tablespoon of this to the cereal milk, that would greatly improve it. Here's another one I found, chocolate superfood smoothie mix. So we've got all of the right check marks listed there and chocolate milk and cereal is actually <laughs> Some kids might go really crazy for that. And might think you're the best mom or grandma ever. So here we have, we have five grams of fiber for four tablespoons. So we got five grams of fiber and 12 grams of protein. So once again, if we were to add just one tablespoon of this to your cereal milk, this would change the nutritional value of every single cereal on this aisle. 
totally. So, I mean, obviously I don't want you to buy these cereals because I would rather you make a healthier breakfast. But if you're going to buy these cereals, you still need to know that there are options of changing the nutritional value of that meal. We've got to increase the protein. We've got to protect the brain. Healthy proteins like this with the chickpeas and all of these different plant proteins are going to help build the microbiome, which is going to build the immune system. The protein's going to totally help them feel satisfied longer. They're not going to be craving. The fiber is going to slow down the the um, breakdown of the sugars it's going to help protect your children you could add nuts into any cereal and then I also found this bare baked crunchy toasted coconut chips that would be a fun topping on different cereals as well so there are just different ways that you can change if you're going to buy these cereals and not have time to make a breakfast for your kids then at least consider adding a tablespoon of these mixes into the cereal milk and you're going to totally change your children's brain you're going to totally change their their immune system and we all need help building our immune system so anyway i would love to hear your comments down below how do you increase the protein the fiber content of a breakfast meal with your family Thanks for watching. I'm Annette Reader, the Biblical Nutritionist, and I can't wait to read your comments down below. And be sure and give this a thumbs up and let me know what would you like me to teach you in the grocery store. I hope you have learned at least one fact today. Hey, put a comment down below. What did I teach you today that you didn't know before? I appreciate you watching and hanging in there, even though this camera has been kind of shaky today. So thanks for watching. And until next time, I want you to stay healthy, happy, and on mission.